pon pon, pon pon, pon pon. A 406 megahertz EPIRB distress beacon has been received by satellite, 60 nautical miles west of ADAC. The beacon is registered to Western Venture, call sign WDG5225. Western Venture. I'm pretty sure I know. It's a little guy. He's only 59 foot. Keep a sharp lookout for signs of distress and assist if possible. Not good. Southwest of the Northwestern. 6005, 6005, sector anchorage, sector anchorage on. The U.S. Coast Guard sets course for the last known location of a vessel in distress. Uh, the boat we're heading to is the fishing vessel Western Venture. Uh, it was reported on fire at 8 o'clock this morning. Five persons on board. And uh, we got it to the last known position. So we'll search there. C-130 is in route. To cover a massive search area, the Coast Guard deploys a C-130 long-range surveillance aircraft. C-130 will probably beat us to see, so hopefully they'll have some good information before we, uh, before we get there. There was a fire in the bow, and they were going to them. So the Western Venture's on fire right now. They, they did a mayday. That would suck. That's the scariest thing ever. They just caught fire. They can't get it out. That is the worst case scenario there, man. The fire on the boat, there's okay, nothing there's worse. No, nowhere to go, right? Nowhere to go but in the water. going down and those guys are in the water. There's a C-130 in the air. He's flying over there, but I don't think they can do much for him. With the helicopter still 265 miles away. C-130 meters to sea by about a half hour. The Coast Guard C-130 surveillance plane keeps track of the drifting crew. You don't ever want to get off your boat. And these guys are in the water. They're helpless right now. Lucian Beauty is a crab boat. Oh, I know. Yeah, they're probably, you know what, if they're on scene, they'll get those guys out of the water. There's a good Samaritan boat that's uh, starting to make their way towards them. The captain of the Aleutian Beauty gets his boat in position to pull the life raft aboard. No, we will uh, All that's left is that port side structure on it. That's it. There's no save in that. All five survivors are pulled to safety. The Good Samaritan boat, uh, they just reported that they pulled all five guys off. They're all in good health. Glad they're OK. Did they get off? Sounds like it, yeah. Crabbers to the rescue, right on. That's my worst nightmare is a fire, and we can't put it out, and I have to get off the boat. I never want to get off a boat. All of a sudden, poof, you know, nothing you can do. It's a scary it's thing. You know, as soon as it happens, you just freak out. How are you doing, kids? Back is just killing me. Yeah. Uh, that, Extreme that, back that, pain that, from that, Junior's that, herniated that, disc. Every time I move or try and get up, the pain gets so intense I can't even hardly, you know, walk. As the captain confined to his bunk. I, I mean, I'm kind of a control freak, so for me not to be in control is like freaking me out right now. Yo, Junior. Hey, man, I know you wanted to get going at daylight. You all right? I can tell you this. I'm going to have to cover my slack, because 
I don't know how I'm gonna sit in that chair all day long. There's no way I can do it. No freaking way. Why don't you pull those pots for me? All right. Junior is forced to give up the helm to his relief captain, Brad Peatfish. So frustrated at, at myself, I guess. I mean, I, I don't know who else to be frustrated at. Time to go wake the boys, start hauling some gear. Junior's hurting, and uh, you know, the weather's still getting rough, it's probably gonna get rougher. The crew prepares for the first haul of the season. Fortunately, I can drive the boat for them, and, and uh, we're just gonna keep going. Without their captain. Gotta go haul some red crab pots. Hey, Junior. Yeah. Yeah, man, I just want to give you a heads up. We're starting to see some crab in the pot. Really? Yeah. Right on. <laughs> Found some crab now that I'm, that I'm bedridden. Maybe that's the trick. <laughs> yeah. Looking good, man. Hello, baby. Big crab. Beautiful, luscious. I think so, man. I'll head outside. Sounds good. All right, dude. Thanks. Exactly, exactly, exactly what I needed. But the adrenaline rush is helping. I mean, my back's hurting, but it's by no means like it was last night. It's just what the doctor ordered. 